Hi, welcome back. It's already day three of the Get a Break from Your Headaches Challenge. Can you believe it? Today, we are going to do something with two yoga blocks if you have them. If you don't have them at hand, stop me and go get them. And also a yoga strap or any old belt will do for that matter. So, what is the topic of the day? It's hypertension. Basically, it means that you have high blood pressure causing you headaches and you might not even know that you are bothered by this blood pressure issue. Usually, it manifests as a headache when it's already super high, but it can be combined to a tension headache. So if you are stressed, you have tension headache and then you have higher blood pressure, which adds up to the cooking. And even worse, if you have migraine, oh, that is shitty. Because having a migraine and high blood pressure, it triggers it over and over and over again. And then when you finally relax, your blood pressure is getting lower, you are taking it easy. What do you have? Horrible migraine for perhaps days. So let's get to work. What can you do if you don't have anything at hand, not even the blocks or the strap? You can always use your greatest weapon. So we are looking in the breathing first. Because these days, many people are breathing only with their upper half of their lungs. And you know what? The lower part is the one you would want to use because it is the one that is actually picking the oxygen mostly from the blood. So if you are breathing shallow, if you feel that it's only your chest that is moving, it's no wonder you're getting headaches and you are being tired and grumpy because you don't have oxygen in your body. So first, have a few rounds. We practice together. And then if you feel like you would like to continue, just hit pause and come back when you are done breathing and you feel amazed. But what I would like you to do is imagine your diaphragm. It is like an umbrella. So when you breathe in, your umbrella has to go down to bring some more space so that your lungs actually can fill up. And that means that your belly will have to move aside. And where can it go? Forward. So allow yourself to make a big Buddha belly when you breathe. You can use your hand on your belly so that you actually feel that your hand is moving. And you can close your eyes if you want to. And just focus for a moment when I'm counting how they breathe. So start inhaling through your nose for one. Two, three, four, pause, exhale, two, three, four, pause, inhale, two, three, four, pause, exhale, two, three, four, pause. And that is how you continue, continue. So taking about 10 seconds to breathe in and breathe out for one full round. So when you breathe six rounds per minute, it means your body is coming out of the uh, fight or flight state, the stress state, and returning to the natural state where should, we all should be in most of the time. So it is the rest and digest. So there is always that. Do that for two minutes in the traffic, at home, if the kids go crazy, if the spouse is being annoying, if you are not happy what, with what is going on in the world or in the workplace, whatever. You can always calm yourself down, get your blood pressure down and be also more mindful if you need to make some decisions. So never allow your lizard brain to take over, but breathe, take a moment sort of meditate on it. And now the second thing, because you want to know what the heck are we doing with the props. So we are placing these yoga blocks under our sacrum. Let me see if I can park so that you can see. It is this flat area on your lower back. 
So both blocks go under there so that we can actually rest our sacrum on the box. And the st strap is going to go directly over our knees so that we can relax our feet. And if you don't have strap, just lean your knees in so that will also give you a nice relaxation. So, inserting a strap, see that it's tight enough so that you actually can lean on it. And come leaning on your back, roll your pelvis up and put your props under. And if you have only one block, you can use it in the second position. That is fine as well. And if you really need a higher tower, you can put it in it even to the highest setting. So from here, when your sacrum is nicely parked, bring your shoulder blades in so your chest is opening for the pranayam. Pranayam is Sanskrit, that is breathing. And you can also push your neck a little bit against the mat so that you make a nice double chin. So now your neck is long. Then sigh out and allow your body to just melt and start doing the same breathing exercise. Breathing in, two, three, four, hold, exhale, two, three, four, hold, inhale, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four, hold. And you can stay here anywhere around two to five minutes. And when you get away from here, just start pressing gently with your feet to the mat so that you can roll your pelvis a little more up and remove the blocks. And now when you roll down, extend through your spine, Take it easy, and then again, you can allow your knees to stay in. Relax and feel the sensations at your lower back. Feel your chest, your shoulders, how the blood is rushing to your head. And you can also hug your knees in. Give yourself a nice little hug, and then just drop your weight up from there. So go ahead and make these tips useful for you. See what you can do today with what you have and drop me a comment how did you feel after the practice. See you tomorrow. Ta-ta! Namaste my friend. Happy Jack here. I trust you enjoyed this video. Have you ever considered getting certified as a yoga teacher? I've created a free training video that explains the five most important factors when you're choosing a yoga school to study with. Now, if you're already a yoga teacher or you're curious about becoming one, you're gonna love this. To get access to the free training, just click the link in the description below. Namaste.